Hi everyone, this is a video to help you with your English learning this week. Um, and for English this week and the next few weeks, we're learning about a new style of writing. So in the past we have looked at traditional tales, um, we've looked at other stories, we have done a bit of instruction writing. Um, and we're going to look at a brand new type of writing which is called recount writing. Now, um, a recount is when you write about something that's already happened, an event that happened in the past. If you've ever written a diary before, um, then that's a type of recount because you're writing about something that's already happened. Um, and we're going to be looking at this recount this week, and it's by a lady called Felicity Aston. And it's all about um, an expedition that she completed called the Kaspersky 1 Trans-Antarctic Expedition. And it's when she travelled across um, the continent of Antarctica on her own. Um, I'm going to read the recount to you shortly. And there are five chatterbox words that I'd like you to listen out for. I'm going to show you the words one at a time. As I do that, um, if there's a grown-up around, um, you could pause the video and have a quick chat about what you think the words mean uh, and then press play to find out a bit more. So, the first word is skied. So, skied is when you travel um, on a pair of skis. So, if you've skied somewhere, you've travelled on with a pair of skis, usually across snow. It gives you a bit of a clue what the recount might be about. The next word I would like to share with you is equipment. So equipment um, is usually um, some objects and things that you need to complete a task. So if you're cooking or baking, you need to use equipment to help you do that. Things like a bowl or a spoon or a whisk. So that's the word equipment. The next word is supplies. So supplies are also collections of things and stuff that you might need. Um, and in the recount that we're about to read, um, Felicity had to collect some food supplies because she needed those for her journey. The next word is another long one. It's achievements. So an achievement is when you complete a task or an activity or something that you set out to do. So if you're at your swimming lesson and you are trying to complete and get your 10 metre badge um, and you've got to do the task of swimming across the pool, then that's an achievement if you set out and you achieve it. Um, and usually achievements are things that you can be quite proud of. Um, sometimes if you get a certificate in Star Assembly, again that's an achievement, something that you've succeeded in doing. And the last word is continent. So in year one we've started to look a bit more about the earth and we already know that the earth is made up of land and sea. Now the land on earth is um, made up of seven continents. And we live on a continent called Europe. Um, and in Europe, there's lots of other countries like France and Spain and Germany. Um, but we're going to be learning about a different continent for the next few weeks. And the continent that we're looking at is called Antarctica. Um, Antarctica is the southernmost continent. So you should be able to find that on a globe. Um, or you could do a bit of research about that this week because that's your geography task. Um, you might have also heard of the South Pole before. And the South Pole was in our story, Lost and Found. And the South Pole is in Antarctica. So, I'm going to recap those words quickly. And then as I read the recount, if you hear them, put your thumb up. So, skied. Equipment, supplies, 
achievements and continent. So I'm going to read Felicity's recount now. This is available on Teams or on the school website for you to download and it might be easier for you to have a copy like this um, where you can bring it up on a screen so you can follow carefully. So now I'm going to be holding up parts of the story like this. It might not be very easy for you to see the words but you can always look back to the recount later on. Okay, off we go. Felicity Aston, Kaspersky 1 Trans-Antarctic Expedition. In November 2011, I set off on one side of the Antarctic coast to ski 1,744 kilometres across the continent of Antarctica. I planned to reach a spot called Hercules Inlet on the opposite coast. I packed two sledges with food, a stove and equipment. My sledges weighed 85 kilograms and I pulled them by myself. First, I skied through the Transantarctic Mountains and the Leverett Glacier. Next, I reached the South Pole where I collected some food supplies which had been dropped off by air. After that, I skied past more mountains called the Thiel Mountains and the Ellsworth Mountains. Eventually, I arrived at the Hercules Inlet on the opposite side of Antarctica. From start to finish, it took me 59 days to complete my journey. I was very proud of my achievements because I was the first woman in the world to cross Antarctica alone. I was also the first person to cross Antarctica using only my own muscle power. Other people in the past had used kites or machines. Because of my achievements, I was entered into the Guinness Book of World Records and I wrote a book about my achievements too. So that was Felicity's recount. Like I say, you might be able to get a copy of this on a screen um, so you can see it in a bit more detail. It was a bit tricky seeing it on those small cards of paper, I know. Okay, your task for Monday is to um, have a look at a document with six pictures in, six photographs, and it's got six sentences to go with it. And they are all parts of Felicity's journey across Antarctica. What we'd like you to do is think about the order that those things happened in. Because in recounts, um, they're always written in time order. So they think about what happened first, then next, and after that, and what happened at the very end. And we call this writing in chronological order. So your job is to find those six pictures and sentences and think about the order that they came in. When you've done that, I'd like you to have a go at retelling Felicity's journey. And if you think back to the recount that you've just heard, we might have heard a few words to tell you and about the time of the different things and the order that it happened in. Words like first or next or after. Um, these are all time connectives. So when you're retelling um, Felicity's mission, have a go at using some of those words as well to help you describe the order of when the things happened. That's all from me for today. Um, I hope you enjoy finding out about Felicity's journey. I know I found it very interesting and you've got lots of learning to do around her expedition across Antarctica this week. Looking forward to finding out about all your learning very soon. See you later.